on Broadway, a new production that shines a light on the frailty of age. Serena Ulchul has saved us a seat. I've, I've had the, 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 gallery. The, the gallery for years now. Nobody comes in there. So I'll get myself a, 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 a job in an, in an office, and, and, and you can take the place in the front. It's a story of family relationships and a grandmother's last years in decline. Writer Kenneth Lonergan's The Waverly Gallery just opened on Broadway. But this is a play whose beginnings trace back to the late 1970s, when the lives of two teenagers and a gallery owner intersected in New York's Greenwich Village. I first came here with Matthew's family, as a matter of fact, oh. with his mom and dad. Matthew is his childhood friend, yeah, the yeah. celebrated actor Matthew Broderick. I grew up a few blocks right down this street, across the street from the Waverly Gallery. And I would see his grandmother in there uh, before I knew Kenny. At 15, he and Kenny met in school. At auditions for Midsummer Night's Dream. Almost immediately, they began taking note of who got what role. We both got parts. He got a bigger, much bigger part than me. Yeah, <laughs> but you got a better part. You think so? I think it's a better part. Yeah. I mean... I was the I wall know, and you were... Demetrius. Demetrius. <laughs> Although he had the chops to perform even Shakespeare, Lonergan didn't stick uh, with acting. Writing, yeah, I started writing plays, I guess, in ninth grade. Right. And I was really interested in writing all through high school, really. In fact... He went on to write and direct a movie, 2000's you, you Can Count on Me. You don't write me for six months. I don't know where you are. For a movie, if you're not going to direct it, you might as well say goodbye to the material forever if you're the writer. All the while, he was writing plays, of course, like The Starry Messenger, featuring Broderick and Lonergan's wife, J. Smith Cameron. And last year, his Manchester you, by the Sam. Sea. You, you can't just die. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Earned Lonergan an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay and a Best Director nod. Margaret, are you grieving? And a constant of yeah. his films. Oh. Hi, Sammy. His movie star pal. Great to finally meet you, Patrick. And always a supporting yeah. role. Is Always a, a little teeny, yeah. and they get smaller and smaller. Yeah, they have gotten smaller. Time passes. Smaller and smaller. Yeah. Eventually, I'll just walk by and, yeah. Kidding aside, <laughs> their support for each other is unwavering. So it's no surprise that Broderick was there when Lonergan's once vibrant grandmother began showing signs of dementia. It was very gradual, so... You know, I knew about thinking her dog was still alive. It wasn't that always broke my heart that she yeah. had to be told again that her dog was dead. Because she'd forgotten I once. I always felt that yeah. was a miserable thing. Yeah. So my grandmother's gallery was right here. Her yeah. window was right there where she used to sit in the, at her desk. You still writing for the newspaper? No, I don't write for... What? I don't write for the newspaper. Oh. What do you do? I write speeches for the Environmental Protection Agency. Oh. Who reads them? <laughs> The Waverly Gallery, first staged in 2000, was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize in Drama the next year. Oh, Ellen is here! Did you recognize me? Yep. The mother is played by the Tony Award-winning actress Joan Allen. Lucas Hedges plays a version of a young Lonergan. As for the grandmother, that's the legendary comedy writer and actress Elaine May. She last appeared on Broadway more than 50 years ago with another legend, Mike Nichols. She's incredible in the part. Why was she perfect for it? There's this uncanny resonance that, yeah. that's both Elaine, the character she's playing, and my grandmother. And Broderick says her performance shows an anguish that's usually kept private. It's rare that somebody has held a glass up to it like that, intensely and that accurately. I've Jeff. lost my purse! Oh, why is Ellen so angry at me? Will you tell her you're not mad at her? Where are my, my keys? Just to find my keys? No, oh, I can't find my keys. Well, they don't my... understand that they don't understand. Yes. And uh, they don't see themselves as, a, as someone who should be put on the shelf. It's said that Kenneth Lonergan's works are timeless and that the Waverly Gallery might just be his best so far. Of course, Matthew Broderick sees them only as a best friend can. 
I love all of them, to tell you the truth. I really can't pick, and I can't pick from his three wonderful movies. I like all of them. I like the first movie because I have a larger part in it. <laughs>